this time we're going to create a rule set that's more complicated so that we can continue getting used to using the website to figure out what we want to accomplish. So in this case, we're going to do something a little bit out there. It's going to be three separate things mashed into one rule, and we're going to make it so that a Twitch channel point reward is what triggers it. So after you create a rule, you have to make a line, a, an empty line between the next one that you want to do. So because this is a new rule, we start without an indent. Well, actually, let's talk about what the rule is going to be first. So the rule is going to be uh, summon three sheep and give me a golden apple and put a bucket on my head. Let's expand this out. There we go. When, and then we'll make a new line. Someone redeems, redeems a funny redemption. That's what our channel point reward on Twitch is going to be called. And the redeemer, or so the person who redeems it, is iGoody. So let's say iGoody pops into your stream and you want to do something special for him because he's the one that created this. You can make it so that a, an event will only trigger if he's the one that causes it. So let's talk about the action event predicate here. So the action is a bit more complicated. It's summon three sheep, give me a golden apple, and put a bucket on my head, right? So we want all of those to happen at the same time. There's a way to do this, trust me. <laughs> it seems complicated, but we can make this work. So that's the action. The event, oh, whoops, is Twitch channel points um, redemption. And the predicate, there's actually two of them here. It's when the redemption is funny. We'll make that capital funny redemption. And actor is I good. An actor is just whoever causes it to happen. So because these are because the um, redemption because the. Um, I trying to say because the channel point redemption is case sensitive we'll we'll make those upper case okay so how are we gonna do this first off we have three different actions that we want to occur at the same time summon three sheep give me a golden apple and put a bucket on my head that's a lot of stuff so um, there's a way to do this and if we consult our handy dandy guide we can figure this out so we're in the actions section and if you scroll down to about halfway through you'll see this meta action called both and it, it's a little deceiving because both doesn't mean just two things it can mean any amount of things and i usually just do both instantly because it makes everything happen basically at the same time so that's going to be what we put first both instantly so that's going to mean the following actions are all going to happen at the same time. So what's our first action? Summon three sheep. How do we summon stuff? Well, that's an action, right? Um, and if we scroll up, there's shuffle, clear, throw, execute, summon. Ha ha, there it is. Summon. So the syntax is summon and the entity ID. For our case, it's just sheep. And then you can, you can tell... Uh, you can tell the sheep where to summon as well. Um, maybe we'll cover that in a different video of how to how to tell things where to appear and whatnot because it's also useful to know. So our keyword is summon and sheep. Unfortunately for this, we can't just do three because there's more syntax related to summoning. So if we put three, it's going to assume that that's the X value of where we want to summon. So this isn't going to work, which means that we need to do a for loop, which is another meta action. So <laughs> we're covering two meta actions at once here. 
So if we come down to meta action, so we can also do either. We'll do that one next, but meta action both, meta action four and times. This is what we want right here. Four count times action. So just like it says right here, four or five times summon zombie, we can do the same thing. So we will do four, three times summon sheep. And that's how we get the sheep to summon three times. So as you can tell, we have two meta actions happening at the same time, both instantly. And then nested inside that, we have this four loop. So four, three times summon sheep. So we have the first thing down, which was summon three sheep. And the next part is give me a golden apple. So after you finish the first part, you need to put and, and that'll say, okay, so we have the first thing we want to do. This and says, there's another thing that we want to do as well. So we already know how to do this part, which is drop. And then it's going to be golden apple. That's the second part. Pretty simple. But then the third thing is put a bucket on my head. That's totally random. <laughs> how in the world are we going to make that work? So we have drop golden apple. We do another and because we want another thing to happen. Um, put bucket on my head. So that's going to be an action. We can use the change action right here. So what change does is changes an item from the streamer's inventory into another item. So let's say you had a helmet on. Um, if you use the change action, you can change your helmet into whatever, or you can change anything in your in your slots to whatever. And right here are really good examples. Tells you how to do all these different things. So you can change what's in your main hand. You can change from specific slots. You can use short shorthand to say like, so this, this is actually the one we're gonna use right here. Change helmet into, we're gonna do bucket. Um, or you can randomly change stuff. So this just tells you all the different ways you can change things. And this is also something that I, maybe I can go into more detail later if you guys want me to. <laughs> this one's actually evil. You can change everything into a stick, which is just, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> so um, this is the syntax we want right here. Change helmet into blank. So change helmet into let's capitalize that into and then bucket is what we want to do all right so that's the action we learned how to do both so that makes us do multiple things at once so when you say both instantly you put your first thing and then and and then your second thing and then and and then third thing and then and and then fourth thing and then and and then fifth and it just keeps going and going and going you could do like I don't know, a hundred things. I, I mean, that'd be crazy if you tried, but I'm sure it's possible. It's not just constraints to two or three different things. So we have all of our actions. Go us, summon three sheep, give me a golden apple and put a bucket on my head. So now the event is a Twitch channel point redemption. How are we gonna figure that out? Well, we go to events. Let's go over here and then, oh, look at that, Twitch channel point reward so that is the actual event it's, it's redemption rewards kind of the same thing but it specifically states reward right here so we know that the syntax is on twitch channel point reward so on twitch channel point reward and then look at that it highlights because it knows oh that's something i recognize which is so cool about using notepad plus plus so that's the event and then if you noticed we have two different predicates. Funny Redemption is the actual channel point reward, but then actor is iGoody. So it's, it's gonna be the same thing that we did before with and then whatever the predicate is. So the title is Funny Redemption. So it'll be with title is Funny Redemption. With title is Funny Redemption. But then we have another predicate and you can actually layer them. Um, so you can have title and message and actor. So you can actually have all of them, but we're just going to do have a title and have an actor as our predicates. So with title is funny redemption, with actor is iGoody. And there you go. That is the whole rule right there. It seemed really complicated, but when you break it down into its chunks, 
and you figure out what you're looking for on the website, it does not actually turn out to be that difficult. So we're going to save it. And then we're going to jump back in here and do our TS quick refresh. Boom. Uh-oh. Failed to reload syntax errors. So unknown comparator is funny. So something went wrong here and we need to figure that out. Well, what we did wrong is funny redemption right here. It's two different words, but it, you might be wondering, well, why is that a problem? That's we've, we have tons of words everywhere. So when you can only have one word between each Twitch spawn, um, you can only have one word between each Twitch spawn keyword. So with title is funny redemption and then with actor is I goody. So between is and with, these are both Twitch spawn keywords. You have two separate words, funny redemption. So the code is gonna think, I don't know how to handle this. Um, it's multiple words at once. And so how we handle that is we actually use these percents between them. So that groups it into one word and this is going to be a little tricky when you just learn how to do this um, and feel free to jump on the discord and and try to figure out more of how this works but essentially if you have multiple words that aren't twitch spawn keywords then you need to put them within this percent right here so once we do that we save it and then we come back here and we refresh and it's good now Okay, so we know that that was the problem, right? Is that we needed to put this percent, these percents before and after. So we go back to the game and we want to simulate this. So there's two ways we can do this. We can either, um, we can either simulate it through Minecraft, which let's do that first. TS simulate, we've done this before. Um, the event is, as we can tell right there, Twitch channel point reward. This is the event. And then we have multiple predicates. So the first predicate is title right there. And we actually use quotes here for funny redemption. And then the other predicate is actor. And that is I goody. So if we do that, that should work. All right, I get he redeemed an award. So we got our three sheep, which is great. We got our golden apple, which is great. And we have the bucket on our head, which is absolutely fantastic. So that worked, which is super awesome. Um, but how do we actually verify that this worked? Well, we can create the event ourselves in Twitch uh, through, through the Twitch website. So we're gonna do that right now. So I have that set up already gonna come over here so if you go to your stream manager you this is what you should see um, so if you go to community and then channel points that'll open these up and um, you add a new custom reward right here and then the reward name is what you set as the title so funny redemption and then enter amount that this actually the amount does not matter twitch spawn does not care what the amount is you care what the amount is so that people can't constantly spam it so let's just say it's going to be a thousand at this point um create it and let's see funny redemption and it's active okay cool so we've created that redemption and then to simulate it we go back to stream manager Let's see if I can do this. So right there. Um, let's expand that out. There we go. We should see, oh, there it is, funny redemption right there. So I'm going to redeem and nothing happened. Why didn't anything happen? Well, it's because we said only I goody can make this redemption happen. <laughs> so it's, it's actually working. If we go over here and delete this, now anyone can redeem this. So we're gonna save it. We're going to do a quick refresh. So I just pressed forward slash and then I hit up a couple times to go to quick refresh. And all right, so that worked. And then let's pop back over. Let's pop back over here and try redeeming it again. 
So, funny redemption, redeem. Hey, look at that. I redeemed it. So we just made channel points work on Twitch spawn, which is super, super, super cool. Um, and the really nice thing about this is now that you've figured out how to do channel points, you can copy this syntax and use it um, basically for every channel point you want to do. So you could literally just copy and then paste right there and then paste right there and then paste right there and then change the name to funny redemption. I don't know other redemption another redemption and then you can make a bunch of other rules so for this one let's say we want to summon a pig and then this one we want to um drop diamond and then this one we want to summon a uh there are other things summon creeper <laughs> we literally that quickly just made three more new rules so it's really really easy once you get the format down to start creating a bunch of different rules just like that um i i have one two three four rules just by using this rule these this event and predicate um yeah so that's how you make twitch channel point rewards work for twitch spawn it's pretty straightforward um, you could actually copy this and paste it here and then this would work for both of them. So like I said before, your, uh, actions are completely separate from your events and predicates. So you can put the same action for multiple events, which is really nice to do. And there's a whole bunch of things you can do with this.